Welcome to Mark Every Golf. So we have the first iron test of the year. So we have got the Callaway Smoke Iron. Sweeter from every spot, same as the driver. So I've got with me the standard smoke iron and the HL smoke iron. I have got an eight iron and a six iron each one. Got same shafts, same flex. So that's cool. So we've got a spot on head to head. So if you can see in the screen now, there is a fair difference in loft and length and line. So you've got to take that into consideration when you're hitting your shots down there and you're looking to invest in a set when you're getting custom fitted. It's good to have that awareness of the makeup of the club that you're looking to potentially purchase. So with each set I would where the lofts are quite powerful, the lofts are more powerful obviously in the standard smoke iron. The HL iron gives it away in the name then a little bit where we're trying to get a higher launch on the shot there. So when you deal off the club, it's making sure you can get some launch on it so you can get some carry. So that's why I've got the six iron with me today. So when you purchase that set, check out the loft of the five iron to see if it crosses over into the hybrids. That's worth making sure that you haven't got a crossover because that's quite an expensive beanstalk you'll have there. Then it's the wedges. So if you see the loft of the pitching wedge, that is extremely powerful. So you're gonna, if unless you want a big gap, you're gonna have to buy four wedges and that's not including the log wedge. So take that into account when you're making your purchase that you could potentially leave the five iron off because that's crossing over into your hybrids and say seven wood and then get that fill, make sure you've got that gap filled nicely in the wedges, otherwise you're gonna suddenly won't be able to control that pitching wedge. We're coming in too hot, too low launch, too not enough backspin on the ball and you won't be able to stop it. So that's where those extra wedges come into play when you've got those powerful, more powerful lofts. So we have a hit with the eight irons, which I think is the best club to test something. So that will give us a, an idea of how the club feels and how it feels off the face, how it looks behind the ball. And then we have a quick go with the six iron to see if we can get, if there's a difference in launch. So the, like I said, the HL is trying to help get those longer irons, that extra launch on it. So you can still use a slightly more powerful club, but still get the ball up in the air. Okay, right then, let's hit some shots down there with the eight iron of the standard smoke first. So that's the standard smoke iron smoking down there, obviously. Looks quite nice behind the ball, quite shiny. I'm not a massive fan of that, but that will soon dull down. And when you're spending big bucks like that, it's got to look the part, hasn't it? So, Felt nice off the face, looks like it's got a nice bit of loft on it. They, even though it's quite a powerful club, so it still looks quite forgiving. Nice, thin, reasonable, playable, thin, top leading edge behind the ball, so it doesn't look too chunky monkey, so that's fine. And I'm expecting this, so I've just hit that with quite a slow club in speed, 77 miles an hour with the eight iron, so that's three to five miles an hour down where I normally am, and it just carried 154 yards. So that's a big hit. You'd expect that with this powerful thing. So the launch on it was 22.5. So that's quite a reasonable launch. Backspin was pretty low. So we we'll just have a, just have another hit with that. I pretty much hit that in the middle. So that was quite good on, on that front. So that's quite cool. It felt a nice spring off the face. So quite happy with that. The spring off the face. So it, it's got to feel like you've got something behind it that you hit it down there so that's quite cool so that one is off the toes so that's what we wanted to see so that wasn't in the middle off the toe Clubbing speed was 78 so quite similar to the other one and that's dropped down to 145 yards so considering that was a reasonable amount off the toe that is done quite well and that's what the club is looking to achieve. So sweeter from every spot. So that's done quite well on that mishit. 
It's where you, when you're hitting, when you're trying those clubs, it's not just a good shot. You're looking for that miss hit, which is all the companies are attacking this year. Okay, so that's, we'll do one more. So that seemed okay. It does give a good spring off the face. It feels powerful. I do like that. It feels like it's got something behind it. It looks all right behind the ball. So that's a good positive so far. So that's got, that's just carried hundreds, well, 159 yards if we're being bang on. Clubhead speed is 79. So that is very good value for money. To get a eight iron out there of 160 yards at 79 miles an hour, that has gone like a rocket, basically. So we are now hit the six iron down there in the same head and see what flight that produces. Then we can play, compare the HL against this um, against the standard smoke. Right then, let's move to the six iron, shall we? That's a six iron smoking down there. Quite a good strike right out of the middle, so that's pretty cool. So that's a good one to see the distance. 81, so that's pretty slow on that, so I'm about four miles an hour down there. Too much waffling to the camera. 175 yards, so that's cool. So I expect when I'm up to speed on that, you're looking about 185 yards. So that's, that's all right, isn't it? 175 yards, that's fine. Launch angle was 20, so that's okay for the... Six iron, downside is that the backspin's quite low, so it's just under 3,000. So that's potentially gonna hit the ground running a little bit. So you've just gotta be really careful. That's the thing to keep an eye on. So let's have another go with that. Still looks okay behind the ball, still looks playable. Nice, nice look, as in it's not too fat at the top there, fairly slim. It's a good technical term there, not too fat. So it's quite a nice playable club, it looks okay. It looks hittable, and the spring off the face, I like. So that was a little bit fat, and that's done all right. So that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So I think we should give that quite a good thumbs up. It's the six iron that we want to really test about it. So we've got the launch around 20, and the spin around 3,000. So let's skip straight to the 6HL and have a bang on head to head because that's the one we really want to test isn't it to see if there's a significant difference between this one and that HL that's the HL smoking on down there a little bit to the right so you'd expect that to go a little bit higher wouldn't you so face was potentially a little bit open on that one which it was slightly, so we had launch angle 22.4, so that's higher, and backspin 3,777. So that's a little bit higher, but you've got to take into account that was a slightly different shot compared to the others. So you've got to make sure you're comparing the same sort of shot. You're not a robot, so you've just got to slowly pick out and think, right, that's a comparable one. Did it perform different? Did it perform better? Was it more suitable to you? So right, let's have another go. So this one, the top leading edge, looks pretty much the same really. You've just got a, a slightly bigger, lower center of gravity. So you've got a bigger sole on the club there. So the idea is you know, to get that higher launch. So you've got that slightly more powerful club. It's not as powerful as the standard smoke iron. So you've got more chance to get the ball up and flying down there. You'll still need those four wedges and check out the difference with the five iron compared to your hybrids. It feels nice on the face, feels a nice spring to it, so that's quite good. Let's have another go. So that was a more similar shape to the others. It's keeping up in distance, so that's done quite well. So this will be the interesting one. So 22 launch on it, that was a good strike. Similar sort of shape. Uh, spin was 3000, so crept up a little bit, but the launch was higher. So we've got a higher launch on the shot. 
So we've gained that. So it's, it's said what it's done on the tin, so it's giving you that higher launch. I still think it looks nice and playable behind the ball. So if you're struggling with a shot to the right and you're trying to get some launch and some distance, then the HL is definitely the one to consider. But overall, I think the smoke line gives that nice feel of some oomph off the club face. It seems fairly forgiving, looks good behind the ball, so I would give that a good thumbs up and put it in the mix when you're trying some lines. Any questions or comments, please send them through, give us a good thumbs up, and I'll see you soon.